everybody. So today I am going back a little bit old school YouTube and I decided to do a favorites video for today's video. I hope you guys appreciate this background as opposed to my messy unmade bed. I have a little bit of makeup, a little bit of tech, um, and a Netflix show that I have to talk about. So I actually have my, I'm going to start with a hair product. Um, and this is the Matrix Biolage Volume Bloom Shampoo. And I, mine's a little gross because, you know, obviously it's been in my shower. Um, but, and so it's a little like gross and sticky, so I'm going to put that down. But I really enjoy this shampoo. And I have relatively flat, fine hair. And so it tends to look not as voluminized, voluminized, that's not a word, voluminous as I would like. But especially when it, my hair is freshly washed and air dried and everything, it like looks super like fresh and tousled and all that nice neat stuff and it smells really good. It doesn't, it doesn't make your hair feel as dry as some volumizing shampoos do. So I'm gonna go on to some makeup products. The first thing I have, uh, if you watched my last video that I posted about a week ago um, I mentioned a few of these but I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth um, so the first thing is the Cody airspun loose face powder and I have this in translucent and my tub again all of my stuff is so messy um, story of my life um, so basically this is just a loose translucent setting powder um, this was for a two pack was $14 on Amazon, which I think is absolutely nuts. Um, it's, it has a very distinct smell. It kind of smells a little bit like sunscreen. So if that's not your jam, I wouldn't suggest it, but it, like, I don't, it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I have been applying this with a beauty blender, a wet beauty blender, and just kind of putting it under my eyes and pretty much all over and then dusting off the excess. Not quite baking. This powder doesn't really allow you to bake because it um, absorbs pretty quickly into the skin in my opinion, but I really, really like this. It keeps me matte most of the day. I mean, I can, I'll show you. I go in with a couple of products to like not be super super flat um but i really really like this powder it keeps my foundation from being sticky because the foundation that i use has a tendency to be especially on my oily skin it has a tendency to not quite sit but i really like the coverage so this really helps it settle settle into my skin i really have been loving the nyx dewy finish long lasting setting spray didn't realize that was its full name but this is just a pretty basic setting spray in my opinion i don't really see a difference between this one and they have also a matte version i don't really see a difference between the two i think most setting sprays are setting sprays and they're gonna do the same thing um unless like i haven't tried like the super high-end ones and i haven't tried like the urban decay ones in a very long time but i really like this for if you've accidentally gone a little too ham with the powder or this for like wetting a brush if you're gonna go into like a metallic eyeshadow color i really really like this i mean it a setting like i said setting powder or setting spray is setting spray so but this one is like i think six dollars in store i found it for i think five on amazon i buy everything on amazon spoiler alert <laughs> um the next thing I have is the Anastasia Norvina palette. I used this in my last, it wasn't really a tutorial, my last get ready with me. And um, I really love this palette. I bought this at Ulta on a whim, but the price was like, it was like $42, which is pretty standard price for an eyeshadow palette, especially considering these eyeshadows are so blendable and so easy to use. My only qualm with these shadows is that the more metallic shades which is pretty much the entire top row um and namely this this one dreamer um it's a little bit i try not to use it to put put it in my inner corner because 
I don't know if it's the glare or the metallic or just the formula of the eyeshadow or whatnot, putting it in my inner corner kind of tends to make my eyes burn a little bit, which isn't the most fun, but like putting it on your eyes like normally and you know, not getting it in your tear duct, I've never had a problem otherwise. I just don't re really recommend putting that particular shade on your tear duct. It's easy look. You can pretty much do anything with it. It does run a little bit warm, so if you're not like a warm toned kind of person, I wouldn't really suggest this, but I do really, really like this. I think it's a really good basic palette that kind of has an everything for everyone um, if you're kind of a fan of the warm tone stuff. Then I have a couple of things from Jeffree Star. I know he's a little bit of a controversial figure. I really find him entertaining and his products are really well made and well crafted and I think he has a really interesting eye for things and so I do really admire him from a business perspective and you know he's doing like amazing <laughs> so um if he's not if he's not your cup of tea entertainment wise I do recommend looking into his makeup because like I said, they are very, very well-crafted products. So the first thing, again, mine's like dirty. <laughs> I literally just bought this a couple weeks ago. This is the Skin Frost in Siberian Gold. And I talked about, again, I talked about this in my last video. And I said that this was one of those products that isn't, it's not one of those highlights that's blinding. And if you watch Every Star, you know he loves a blinding highlight. But it is pretty subtle but it's also buildable. So if you want it to be like a wha-bam highlight, you can do that. So it looks like this. I, my standard highlight is usually um, Becca Opal. This one's a little bit more true gold. Um, then it's a little, ta a tad bit darker and a little, a little less pink. But I'm actually wearing it on my cheekbones right now. And if you can see like in the sunlight, cause there's a window or there's, my balcony is right there. You can, see a little bit it's pretty subtle but i really like it the only thing the only thing i would say about this particular highlight and if this doesn't bother you or your partner then like whatever but if i am like cuddling with my boyfriend or something this like gets glitter all over his face like all over his face like last week i was wearing this and he he has a little bit of stubble and he had glitter like in his stubble like it was um it's an interesting look <laughs> um and yeah so if that's not a thing that i would just be aware i would just be aware of that um it's the same kind of annoyance as like a lipstick that like transfers you know speaking of lipstick this is the jeffree star lipstick i don't know if it has like a specific name or whatever i think it's like lip ammunition or something like that but it doesn't really matter it's his lipsticks and this is in the shade calabasas and this is actually the shade i'm wearing right now it's a little bit dark it's a little bit um like more of like a fall winter shade but it's january so um but i actually this reminds me a lot of mac capricious which was i think my first mac lipstick ever um, this is a little bit darker than that, um, in my opinion. I don't need to swatch it. I'm literally wearing it on my lips right now. Um, I really, really enjoy this lipstick. It has a really nice formula and it stays. I'm wearing it with a little bit of lip liner right now because my lips have a tendency to, I don't really have a like really defined lip line. So I like to go in with a lip liner to kind of keep the lipstick within my lip line um so i really 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 like this formula it feels really it's a little bit more of a firm lipstick as opposed to like my other really well loved lipsticks are my bite lipsticks and those are really soft um this one is definitely a little firmer which keeps it on it's a little bit matte I like throwing a little bit of a lip gloss on top. My favorite one is the Buxom one in Mudslide. Um, 
to just make it a little bit more comfortable. I'm not a really a big liquid lip fan. Uh, I was gonna get one of his liquid lips, but I just, I can't stand how they feel. So I just decided to get one of his regular lipsticks. So next I wanted to talk about fashion. Um, I have one fashion item. It's actually the jean jacket I'm currently wearing. I'm rocking a little bit of the Canadian tuxedo right now, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of into it. Um, this is my jean jacket. It's a little snug on the uh, chest region, um, but it doesn't really bother me because I don't really ever close it. So um, I bought this jean jacket off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. I will try to find the exact listing and link it down below if you want the same one. Um, but I also have a bunch of pins. Most of them are Harry Potter related. I think all of them, except for this one, are Harry Potter related. Yeah. Um, but you know, what are you gonna do? So I just like to load up my jacket with pins. I just think it's really cool. It, um, it's really fun when somebody like in a restaurant or like on the street recognizes the pin that's on your jacket and they're like, oh cool, you like that thing too. It's really fun um, and I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I really love this jacket. I wear it all the time and I can't wait until it gets a little bit more like warm. <sighs> then I have some tech things. I recently like back... I think across, yeah, it was over Thanksgiving because I got it when I was in Florida. Um, I transferred from Apple over to Android, which is a switch I never thought I would make, but between, I, I needed a new phone because I was due for an upgrade and my old phone was being really, really, really slow. So between my boyfriend who is a massive Android fanboy and my brother who is a massive Android fanboy, between the two of them, they basically convinced me to transfer to Android. And so I got the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and I never thought that I would do this. I never thought that I would transfer over, but this is one of, if not the best phone that I've ever had. It's powerful and it's, fa it's fast charging and I really love the camera on this thing. If you've been following me on Instagram lately, you would have seen some of the pictures that it's taken. Um, I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this phone. I thought that Samsung was that user friendly. I thought iOS was always more user friendly, but honestly, Android has been more so. Also, I get a lot of compliments on this case. This is, again, from Amazon because my whole life is from Amazon. Um, but I can't really show you because it has my debit card like right in the front, but um, it's actually like a little wallet case. Let's see if I can cover, yeah. So my debit card and like my insurance card, like my important stuff is on this little flappy thing. And then I have like my CVS card and like the card for my chiropractor and like all that kind of stuff in this side. And I get a lot of compliments on this case. And my mom makes fun of me because she's like, I'm a very forgetful person. I am the type of person to like just leave my phone on a table when I go out to eat. Like I'm that person. Um, and she's like, what if you do that and you're gonna lose your phone and your cards? And I'm like, whatever. Um, the next thing kind of goes along with that. It's another tech item. Um, and this was actually my Christmas present from my parents this past Christmas. And that is the Samsung Galaxy notebook computer. This is a really, really cool computer. So, I mean, it's not only compatible with my phone. I mean, it's a Windows computer. So, um, so not only is it compatible with my phone because it's Windows and Windows and Apple don't really mix. What's really cool about it is it has a tablet mode. So if you want to play games or even just, I have a couple of like solitaire and um, like jigsaw puzzle kind of things on here, but it's also really good for um, like, if you're like a digital artist or things like that, this laptop is amazing. And 
I've been really, really, really enjoying it. The last thing I want to talk about is a Netflix show, and that is um, a show called Sex Education. And this show is so well done and so well crafted. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it is a, like, as the name suggests, a very sexually explicit show. Um, so again, that's not your jam, then maybe take a pass. But I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy the show. It basically is about a young boy played by Asa Butterfield, who coincidentally was the little boy in Boy in the Striped Pajamas, but he's, you know, like 17 now. Um, and he has a, his mom, his single mom is a sex therapist. And so he's kind of been exposed to that world his whole life, and he figures out that all of his friends and all of his classmates are all having these like sexual issues. And so him and his best friend Eric, who is a very openly gay character, and uh, the kind of outcast girl named Maeve, who is the love child between Cara Delevingne and Margot Robbie, which is like yeah um so they kind of get together and they basically create this like sex clinic where they you know help these kids with their issues and it's really interesting and very sex positive in the way that they talk about um you know these issues that plague everybody it's really really fascinating and if you are in any way shape or form interested in like sex and the psychology of sex like I am I think it is such a good show and it's hilarious and it's so very British I highly 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 recommend it again it's very very sex positive very like LGBT friendly it's so so good and it also has some scenes that are very poignant and very um could be kind of triggering to some people so I just would look into it with a grain of salt um but highly highly recommend there's only like eight episodes or something which by the way i want more um but it's a really easy watch and it's funny and it's sweet and it's sexy and it's i don't know it's it's a great show very much recommend so yeah that is all i have to tell you my back is killing me from sitting like this um i will talk to you guys in my next video hopefully next week and, and yeah, hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah. Bye.